Welcome to animation, technically. Uh, today we're going to be talking about clean topology and its effects on rigging. Why is it so important? Well, for one, it makes your models neater. Everything exists in tries in 3D. However, you want to be modeling and keeping things as clean as possible, aiming to have them in quads. It's not always possible because 3D models and detail don't always go hand in hand. And sometimes you will need to have tries, but where possible, you want no five-sided edges. You want nice clean quads so that you can do selections like this. Or when you're skinning, you want to be able to take entire lines of vert loops and take them in and just paint those weights if you need to. It's important that you keep a check on this. If you have something for a 3D modeler, you want to be having a good look over and making sure it's modeled how you want it to be modeled to make the rigging process easier. However, that's not always gonna be the case. You might not be having a modeler at your disposal. You might not be able to critique stuff and send it back for changes. You might just be grabbing a random model from the internet that happens to be from a rather popular video game series in order to do some fun testing videos. Here's one I grabbed earlier. This is obviously Gengar needs no introduction. Uh, he's one of the original 150 odd Pokemon. But you can see a model that's been uh, ripped from a game as a model that's been exported badly without proper checks being done uh, for whatever file format it's been kept in comes back in looking like how a model actually is, full of tries. And today we're going to be using the Quadrangulate tool, which is a bit of a mouthful, to clean up this and make it more, as you'll see, like this. That is the quick way to clean something up and get it to display how you want. However, it is not perfect. This is a tool that is not flawless and will often not work as you want, leaving you lots of horrid, art hard and odd looking edges that will mess up your loop selection for one thing. And obviously just not look right, which makes things a little bit harder and it makes it look like you've got a model that's not been made properly. If you undo this, what you can do with quadrangulate if I bring it up you do have options on it but it will take individual selections you can be a lot more precise with what you want to do which obviously works a lot better but it will take a lot longer to clean your model up obviously you can grow your selections from here and work your way out which is what you're going to want to do but sometimes you can just take entire portions trial and error and uh, go how you want to go and you'll get a fairly good result most of the time. There are situations where Maya will not be able to work out what it needs you to do. In those situations you're just going to have to manually pick what you want and go in and clean it up. It's a tedious process but it's important if you want things to look their best really for rigging and just displaying off showing the topology in its best form. However, if you find yourself in need of doing some manual cleaning up, uh, this works hand in hand with the collect tool. So if you've done something wrong here, for example, you can select the vertices you need and just edit mesh and connect them back up, which means you can then go in and delete the correct faces. Like that. So even if you make a mistake and you've gone too far, it's always easy to clean up. And sometimes you just have to go and do that when you can't rely on another modeler to clean things up and make them a little bit neater. But as you can see, the tool overall will do a good job of cleaning everything up and making everything a little bit nicer. So you can go from this to this, which is much more in a better state and ready to be rigged.